Welcome to the National Emergency Training Center. The campus sits on 107 acres of land and was formerly St. Joseph's College, which dates back more than 200 years. The campus is home to the U.S. Fire Administration's National Fire Academy, the Emergency Management Institute, and the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation, which includes the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial and the Walk of Honor. The National Civil Defense Emergency Management Monument is also located on campus. The monument is dedicated to those professionals and volunteers who have protected the public from natural and man-made disasters. The To Lift a Nation Monument is also located here on campus. It was built to honor the heroes of the September 11th tragedy. Feel free to take photos of our memorials and other sites around campus, but please do not take photographs of any security personnel, security checkpoints, security operations, or aircraft operations. If you violate this procedure, security may confiscate your photographic equipment, including camera phones. The campus is a secure facility. In order to gain access to the campus, you must provide photo identification at the gate. If you are using your state's driver's license, it must comply with the Real ID Act. This information can be found online. Please be advised that our security officers are armed. They are here to help you day or night. In the event of an emergency, dial 911 from a campus phone or dial 301-447-1111 from a commercial phone. Security has an emergency medical technician on duty 24 hours. These campus security officers are Maryland certified emergency medical technicians and participate in a two-tier medical response system. Advanced life support is nearby and can be called if needed. While on campus, never leave packages, luggage, briefcases, and backpacks unattended. Security will treat all unattended items as suspicious or hazardous and will proceed accordingly, which includes building evacuations. While on campus, you must display a federal employee, contractor, or student photo identification badge at all times. You must ensure your ID badge is visible above waist length and worn on the outermost layer of your clothing. All vehicles on campus must be registered and display a parking permit. Parking permits are issued at the Student Services Registration Desk in C Building or the Security Office located at the main entrance. The student parking lot is located between buildings J and S. Please do not park in the areas designated for staff. Overflow parking is available in the field next to J Building. If you leave campus, please have your student ID badge and photo ID with you. You will need these to re-enter campus. Our security posture is subject to sudden change and you will be informed if it should change. Visitors can be admitted onto campus only if security receives a written request in advance from a permanent on-site employee. You can ask your instructor for a guest request. This will allow them to be put on our security access roster. Please be aware that vehicles, luggage, and packages may be searched each time you enter campus. This campus, the town of Emmitsburg, and nearby Mount St. Mary's University are all equipped with an emergency alert system. In the event of an emergency situation, a loud electronic siren will sound followed by voice instructions. Please follow these instructions. During a severe weather or tornado warning for the Emmitsburg area, when everyone is to shelter in place, the gates are closed and locked and the security officers are relocated to V Building. If you are outside the campus when the gates are closed and locked, arrangements have been made for you to seek shelter at the Emmitsburg Fire Station Vigilant Hose Company located on West Main Street. The fire station will be unlocked remotely by the Frederick County Emergency Coordination Center. We hope you will be comfortable in our dorm rooms, which are all smoke-free. This includes smokeless tobacco products and smokeless electronic vaporizers or e-cigarettes. If you do smoke, please use the designated smoking areas outside of the building. 
We ask that you be mindful of our no-noise policy after 11 p.m. We also have a no-visitor policy within our dorm rooms. However, students wishing to gather may meet in common areas within the dorm buildings. The student services staff at C West Desk is a one-stop shop, so you may want to put their phone number, 301-447-1048, in your list of contacts. They can assist you if you have any questions or issues with your dorm room. The staff can assist you if you need a referral or transportation to a local medical provider, and they can answer questions related to campus life and local events. Our dining hall has a wide variety of food and is ready to assist you with any of your special dietary needs. Please contact the dining hall manager at 301-447-1551 or stop by the cash register station. You will find a wide range of recreational activities to enjoy during your free time here on campus. Simply purchase a Recreation Association membership card and gain full access to the Command Post Pub and Student Center located in B Building, the Swimming Pool, Gymnasium, and Weight Room located in H Building, an outdoor volleyball court and several tennis courts, and bikes, helmets, tennis rackets, volleyballs, and basketballs. You can purchase your rec card at the Command Post Pub for a nominal fee, and it is good for the calendar year in which it was purchased. Alcohol may only be purchased and consumed at the Command Post Pub. You may not bring alcohol onto the campus or store it in your room. If you do, you will be in violation of our NETC Standard Operating Procedure 119-22 conduct on the NETC campus. Those who violate this standard operating procedure may be subject to expulsion and future debarment. For your protection and to expedite your processing onto campus, do not bring weapons of any kind with you. Weapons include knives with blades longer than three inches, machetes, bow and arrows, ammunition, rifles, shotguns, pistols, etc. All sworn, commissioned, and state peace officer standards and training certified officers, federal officers, or local officers with concurrent jurisdiction who require a firearm for the performance of required official duties must declare the firearm when entering campus. NETC security will then store the firearm for the duration of your stay. As professionals, we expect you to conduct yourself accordingly. We take our human dignity statement very seriously. Absolutely no derogatory remarks to anyone concerning race, gender, religion, ethnicity, or sexual orientation will be tolerated. Any individual who makes inappropriate comments may be subject to disciplinary action in accordance with NETC Standard Operating Procedure 119-22, Conduct on the NETC Campus. This SOP is available in each of our dorm rooms and is available online. It is each student's responsibility to dress professionally and make sure clothing is appropriate for changes in temperature as well as classroom activities. EMI and NFA superintendents have authority to make a determination that a student's attire is inappropriate. Students wearing attire that is determined to be inappropriate will be required to change into more appropriate clothing before being allowed to continue class. During class, appropriate attire is considered business casual, which typically includes slacks or khakis, dress shirt or blouse, open collar or polo shirt. Departmental uniforms may be worn as well. Appropriate classroom attire does not include t-shirts, jeans, hats, or ball caps. Most NFA classes now use Bring Your Own Device, BYOD for short. The BYOD student manual is downloadable from the web and uses the free Adobe Acrobat Reader for note-taking, highlighting, and commenting. Wi-Fi is available in a classroom and in the dorm buildings. If you need help with Wi-Fi in the classroom, the IT classroom technicians are there to assist. Or if you need assistance while you're in your dorm room, CDesk can help. The courses we offer are reviewed annually by the American Council on Education, or ACE, to assure quality and academic standards. 
ACE carefully evaluates our courses and provides credit recommendations, which makes it easier for you to transfer courses into a degree program. This also means that all NFA students are evaluated and issued letter grades. Official letter grades can be obtained from your transcript four weeks after the course has been completed. The NFA also awards Continuing Education Units, or CEUs, through the International Association for Continuing Education and Training for successful completion of NFA-sponsored courses offered on campus, off campus, and online. A CEU is a standard unit of measure with one CEU representing 10 contact hours of participation. As part of your course, you may have an opportunity to serve as class president or participate in the superintendent's lunch. In addition, you will have an opportunity to purchase a class picture and a class shirt. At the end of your course, you will be asked to complete an electronic end-of-course evaluation. The evaluation will be completed in the classroom, a breakout room, or on your own device. It only takes about 15 minutes and provides us with direct input that helps improve our training programs. In addition, we invite students to sign up for our long-term evaluation survey. The long-term evaluation, or LTE, is a critical measure of how you are applying what you have learned once you are back on the job. The LTE sign-up is linked to the end-of-course evaluation, and you can also find a separate LTE icon on the classroom, breakout room computer desktops. Another safety note to be aware of, the shelter-in-place locations for J-Building are the basement and the first floor. The location for S-Building is the interior hallway away from the doors. When a shelter-in-place occurs, please move away from windows, move to the higher or lower floor as directed by the building or floor monitors and security officers. Be advised that if you decide to evacuate instead of sheltering in place, you may not be allowed back into the facility until you are decontaminated or determined not to pose a risk to others. If a lockdown or active shooter incident occurs, for your safety, please shut off the lights, silence your phones, disable computer sounds, lock the doors, and close the curtains. Our library is the world's premier fire service and emergency management research library and has a collection of more than 100,000 books, reports, periodicals, and audiovisual materials. The library is located within N Building and is open Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. until 9 p.m., Friday from noon until 4 p.m., Saturday from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m., and Sunday from noon until 4 p.m. Another great resource while on campus is the U.S. Fire Administration's Publication Center, located on the first floor of iBuilding. Come and browse a wide selection of free fire and emergency medical services publications and outreach materials. The Publication Center is open 7.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. O'Leary's Emporium is located in the basement of D Building. O'Leary's carries everything from t-shirts to dress shirts to patches and souvenirs. They also sell a variety of snacks and toiletries. To honor your academic achievement, the NFA conducts graduation ceremonies at the conclusion of its classes. Generally, NFA graduation ceremonies for six-day classes are held on Friday at 4 p.m., and graduation for 10-day classes is held on Friday at 8 a.m. Your instructor will let you know when and where the graduation ceremony will take place. Congratulations! Once you have completed an NFA course, you may join the ranks of the NFA Alumni Association. There is no cost to join. The NFA Alumni Association is a strong voice with more than 32,000 members in support of our mission. To learn more about the NFA Alumni Association, visit nfaalumni.org. Thank you and best of luck with your class. We hope you enjoy your stay here at our beautiful historic campus and that you will share your learning with other members of your department so that your community is a safer place to work and live.